much. Hello here. We have Soul on the mic. We have Katakiri versus Lappin going on right now. Um, Katakiri hovering over the Pokemon tr uh, Pokemon trainer. Lappin going over Roy right now. And it, there's the fist bump. We're about to get started here. But uh, Katakiri requested that I put the uh, the Squirtle over his character when he uh, plays these games. But uh, starting on Lilat, interesting pick. Sort of a very unpopular pick, but at the same time, Lappin is a very adaptive man. So he sort of just plays what he wants. He'll play those, like, bold stages while Katakiri just sort of practices everything. He labs it. So he's going from there. Right now, just sort of some easy poke. Squirtle's really trying to get in, get that easy poke. But at the same time, sword users really destroy the Squirtle. Actually, it makes me surprised I didn't see Ivysaur from the get-go. Right now, just a lot of spacing. Um, man, it almost looked really slow. Like, the, I was losing some frames here. But, um... <clears throat> right now, just... Switched to Ivy pretty quickly off, just because, you know, he wasn't getting a lot of work. Very bad air dodge from Lappin. Oh, man. Lappin shaking his head like, oh, man, I got just got spiked. But uh, Charizard's starting off, getting some easy damage. Um, actually, he reversed back to Squirtle. I always thought Charizard with a little bit of rage would be nice to have, but at the same time, he's only at 46 damage. So, so right now, Katakiri's just doing good. Getting those Squirtle combos in. Good on him. And right now, Lappin gives give him a little comeback. Kind of just did... Wow, that is a very long reach of that uh, up B. But um, Lappin doing as much damage as he's done this entire set within a string of like 20, 25 seconds. But, uh, man, I don't know enough of this game. I didn't know Ivysaur's up B can directionally choose that direction. Um, nice uh, option from Lappin. Hey, Will. But catcher Will catching in here. Um, just so you know, Will, uh, this is mute right here. So if it's lighting up like that, that was like... They might have muted your mic when they left. Let me check. Yeah. Uh, yeah. this is muted. Yeah, but... so you're not muted. You're good. Alright, what's up? Bug catcher Will. So this is... Katakiri's Pokemon Tra Ooh! Oh, I think Lapa was trying to do, like, some sort of fair edge guard there, but, um, just got caught with the meaty flare blitz. Can't really contest that. You kind of just gotta... Let him recover. Oh, Nair almost does it, but Charizard's a big boy, so... Doesn't die. Let's see what category. Oh, whoa! Lappin just oh. way off. Almost <laughs> killed himself. Yeah, Roy. Roy's a really big fast fall. You gotta be careful. Lappin trying to turn around. Oh, but like gets a forward nice. smash and category switching. I like I like the type wild tag category's using. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a reference to that fan game. It's like a. It was made by the actual like Pokemon animator, and uh, he did like a two D. Um, ooh, almost. Okay, and he did like a 2D fighter for Pokemon, and it was called Type Wild. Oh, okay. I've never heard of that, actually. Yeah, it's uh, real fun. Oh, but oh, Lappin just doesn't sweet spot the ledge, and so game one goes to Katakiri. But, um, yeah, you see Will here in the picture. I'm on the side just managing the string, pulling, pulling the strings, I guess, on the side here. Oh, gotcha. But, um, Katakiri... Sort of warming up to Pokemon Trainer. I don't know if you've talked to him about yes, that. Yes, he is finally realizing that they are not low tier like he used to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he used to talk about them being like low tier, but he also he's also said that uh, DDD always has a lifespan in every game. Yeah, and um, he want he said he needs to have a, a backup from DDD, so that's what he says he's using Pokemon Trainer. That's how I feel about. Uh... <clears throat> Oh, who am I thinking? That's how I feel about a uh, snake. Like, to a higher threshold? Yeah. Like, I feel like he's just easy to juggle. Like, he'll always have his place, but, like, a lot of the snake players, like MVD and Ally, mm -hmm. they're, they're there to win. Like, Ally says that Snake has some bad matchups. Like, you need to have another character in your pocket. Oh, and yeah. And then, as time goes on, as you said, like, as the game, like, learns how to deal with Snake, Snake's a lot harder to play and a lot harder to... or a lot easier to punish as time goes on, because... A lot of people have not played Brawl Snake in the slightest yeah. either. It's just like how Snake was top three in Brawl at the beginning. He was number two. Number he was two. number one for one tier list. Okay. And then number two all the way into the last two tier list. Okay. Yeah, I think Ice Climbers was and then he, two. And, and then, then went Omar back down was to third like, at the, as the final list. Yeah, and then he went back. Then he went down to like six at the final list. Yeah. Yeah, Falco was third for the longest time too, but he was just kind of overhyped. Only the only person that really did it was uh, DEHF, which is now Larry Lurk. Does everyone hate Falco? Falco and Brawl was just not. Everyone fun did fun. hate Falco and Brawl because <laughs> yeah, he was because 
Showing up pew pew, man. It was just so um, not. It was not fun to fight. Going into game two, uh, starting out with Squirtle. That's generally what Katakuria likes to start out with. Generally, because Squirtle kind of has just a forty percent grab tax whenever you get <laughs> at the start of the game. Mm -hmm. I was surprised actually. I thought because Squirtle's low range, he would have some difficulties against uh, Roy just because of the sword. But I mean, hey, it, he's getting it work. He's getting work done. He's oh, yeah. almost at ninety percent zero to. Zero to ninety. Oh yeah, and the thing is that Squirtle, yeah, ooh, he gets a nice call out with the Vine Whip. Is that mm. although yeah, Squirtle does, I have, like, less than average range. He's also just incredibly fast and very mobile, so he's able to, so he's very, it's easy for him to space around a lot of swords. Mm -hmm. Oh, switching to Charizard, you know he wants to kill him now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the thing about the thing about Charizard is I feel like although Charizard overall was nerfed. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he got rid he of was, Rock Smash. That thing was so fun. He, to oh yeah, and he, he, I feel like he got buffed because having to use Charizard when their opponent, when, o when only when your opponent's at kill percent, is pretty good. <laughs> I'd also like to mention that I have not seen Charizard's run animation happen very often. That's actually really smooth. That's like the best Charizard. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That is the best uh, Charizard running animation I've seen. Oh, it's... Yeah. Also, Charizard's real fast, too, on the yeah. ground. Oh, he he missed it. Came back. It's it's nice that Ivysaur doesn't go in a free fall when he does that. It sort of oh, makes yeah. Ivysaur just a really good neutral. It allows character. him to, like, juke out people. Mm -hmm. Nice recovery. Sort of didn't get caught in that crossfire from oh, yeah. Roy's upbeat. He was, able to, he was also able to sort of do a bit of a reversal with that back air, getting mm -hmm. Lappin back on stage. <clears throat> Ooh, gets the up to... Ooh, nice conversion. Uh, but uh, Lapin falls within there. Ooh, almost gets the jab to, to Rar back air, but... um. Ooh, that Nair, that probably would have killed when he was Ivysaur, so... Uh, uh, but, he, I mean, Flare Blitz is not safe. It doesn't snap to the ledge anymore. But yeah. I'm very surprised he didn't sort of go for some other option. Maybe he was thinking of something else. Yeah. I put my Charizard in that, man. Everyone's spamming Charizard in chat right now. <laughs> I can't see chat right now. Oops. Oh, look at me, the noob. Alright. Oh, Lapin's starting to punish I mean, his re-grabs. Okay. Yeah, so getting back to this, uh, Lapin's actually even this out. Ooh, quite a bit. yeah, he has. And, uh, yeah, it's just sort of. Ooh, oh, man. He really instantly yes, comes back. Nice job on him hitting the hilt. Oh, Best yeah. part about Roy is you don't have to be efficient. Like, it's actually better to be an efficient with that character. Like, if you're perfect <laughs> spacing, you're playing the character wrong. Yeah, you're kind of just supposed to hit them in their armpit. Hit them with your armpit. Yeah. I, I can see that as a alternative skin. Ooh. Especially since uh, IS is treating Roy like an armpit anyways right now. <laughs> yeah. Roy kind of stinks like an armpit, too. I hate him. <laughs> the fire boy. Uh, I think he's, he's gonna a make meme. out. Yeah. Uh, surviving the fire breath, which is pretty important, would screw up his recovery or just oh yeah, especially because carry so much time to recover too. Ooh, nice down tilt. Ah, oh, but the 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 forward air, not the forward, the down air doesn't sweet spot, but it still hit Katakiri with the fire animation. Mm -hmm. I thought that it only sweet spotted if you got the. Ooh, this is a nice combo ooh, from Katakiri. Ooh, uh, I was gonna say this was. He Lappin's still did. A, he still had a good chase there. Right ooh, punishes him for. Oh, that could have been it. He could have just like. Two frames. Yeah, two gun, fr is that a thing? I don't think it's two frames. You just have to like. You just have to like hit them below the. You have to hit them while they're trying to recover below the stage, and they just get like pushed up and they don't grab the ledge. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he's staying for Squirtle this long. Oh, there you go. Oh, I don't know if he texted, but yeah, he's on Ivysaur right now. I. He's actually like on one midi F smash away from actually. Not even. And um, Will's jumping in here, or Will's jumping out. Alright, I gotta play a set, but, uh... Oh, looks like we're getting Ricky here in a second, but, uh... Yeah, Katakuri just taking his time looking to land right now. <clears throat> and I looked away, I assumed that was an F-tilt, otherwise he would be dead. But, um, so far, so good. Uh, Lappin just sort of taking his time, trying to really think of what's going on. And I think that's gonna be an up throw, that's not gonna kill, though. That just sort of puts Lappin in more of a position. Nice reverse up air from Katakuri actually sealing the stock. Unfortunate for Lappin, definitely some good adjustments. I know he's really feeling Roy. Um, I want to say this is three weeks in that he's played this character while Katakuri's played this Pokemon trainer for about a month or so. Katakuri just overall a better player. But the fact that Lappin did that good 
in that amount of time is also awesome for him, especially for the recent character switch, because he was having a little bit of a character crisis.